top U.S. and Taiwan officials met in Washington last Thursday in their first physical meeting since the outbreak of the pandemic. Assistant Secretary of State Michelle Sisson, Taiwan Ambassador Xiaobi Kim, and other high-level officials discuss ways for Taiwan to enter an upcoming WHO summit and the ICAO, the UN's aviation body. Observers say that Taiwan's chances are higher this year as the war in Ukraine has driven up anti-Chinese sentiment in the EU. The UN's World Health Assembly, the annual forum that governs the WHO, will soon convene in May. Taiwan has been barred from the global event for five years running now, owing to Chinese pressure on many member nations. Gearing up for the meeting, Taiwanese and American officials held high-level talks in Washington on March 31st US time to discuss strategies that might enable Taiwan's entry into the WHA and other international organizations. They discuss promoting and expanding strategies and practices for Taiwan's participation in international organizations. This bilateral meeting was the first physical meeting we held since the outbreak of the pandemic. Sources said the U.S. side consisted of Michelle Sisson, the Assistant Secretary of State for International Organizational Affairs, two Deputy Assistant Secretaries, as well as senior APEC and AIT officials. On the Taiwan side, officials included the U.S. representative Representative Xiaobi Kim, along with James Lee, the head of Taiwan's New York mission, and Nicole Su, the head of Taiwan's Geneva mission. The talks focused on Taiwan's chances of participating in the WHA with observer status and whether it could enter the UN's aviation body, the ICAO. In the past, Taiwan has lacked support from the EU, but with the outbreak of the Russell Ukrainian war this year, there's a new anti China sentiment in the EU. The EU has has also expressed support for Taiwan's entry into the WHA in Geneva. Taiwan's chances of participating in this year's WHA have substantially increased. I believe that the U.S. will also do its utmost to get Taiwan to join, but when it gets down to the time of the final vote, its allies need to be highly mobilized. Beijing will also mobilize UN members. It looks like Beijing's ability to mobilize this way is still relatively high. We can participate by joining other NGOs. Scholars have mixed opinions about whether Taiwan can take part in the WHA this year. However, in mid-April, Taiwan's diplomatic ally Palau will hold the seventh Our Ocean Conference. Reports say the US has suggested that Taiwan should take part in a low-key manner and that it should avoid using the nation's formal name or displaying symbols of its sovereignty. Scholars believe it is necessary to keep a low profile to avoid a tightening of tensions. Palau has just signed a so-called maritime patrol agreement with the U.S. and currently has already been formally incorporated into American plans for an island chain to resist China. So Taiwan's attendance at the Palau conference will be highly sensitive for fear of China suspecting there is a so-called cooperative agreement between Palau, Taiwan and the U.S. All this goes to show that Taiwan is always dragged into the perennial diplomatic wrangling between the US and China, and this affects its participation in international bodies.